guys, it's Jessie V, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Muffin Man, which I know probably sounds so weird and so bizarre, but I know that everybody knows that rhyme. Do you know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man? And it actually has really terrifying origins. I could not believe what I was reading when I found out. So get ready, it's about to get weird. But before I get started, as usual, I do have a couple announcements. The first one is that I'm having a Christmas meet and greet this Saturday, December the 17th from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. It's going to be at our Peculiar Place store in Orangeville, Ontario. I will put a link down below in the description that will take you to the address, the map, all the information you need to know. This is a completely free meet and greet. No tickets, no fees. All we ask is that if you can, you bring a non-perishable food item with you because we are partnering with the Orangeville Food Bank and we really want to give back this Christmas. So if you're able to bring one or two items that would be amazing but yeah I really hope to see you there the other thing I want to mention is that I'm wearing this really cool galaxy ball necklace and I am so excited about this item on our website because it's a mystery galaxy necklace so there's 12 different designs that it comes in and it all has to do with like space and galaxies and stars they're absolutely gorgeous it's like having a universe in your necklace and when you get one you don't know which color or pattern you're gonna get until it arrives at your house. So this one is mine and I just think it's so cool how on both sides you can see the galaxy in there. So if you guys would like a mystery galaxy ball necklace, I have linked it down below. Okay, so without further ado, let's talk about the Muffin Man. <laughs> it's still so weird to say. Okay, so the Muffin Man, like I said, it's a traditional nursery rhyme that was actually written in 1820 and the rhyme goes, do you know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man? Do you know the Muffin Man who lived on Drury Lane? I feel like many of you listening probably think of Shrek whenever you hear this rhyme. The gingerbread man. Do you know the muffin man? <laughs> Poor Victorians spent long hours at work, usually working 12 hours a day with only Sundays off, so that didn't leave a lot of time for cooking. Few had kitchens and instead had to cook their food on an open fireplace which was hot and smoky work, so many people chose to buy their food from the wide variety of street sellers instead. So Victorian people had a lot of their fresh food delivered right to their doorstep. Foods such as muffins, which were delivered door to door by a vendor known as the Muffin Man, and there were hundreds of them. Muffin men could be found all over town in the 19th century, knocking on doors to see if anyone wanted to buy their baked goods. And they usually annoyed people with their loud bells because they would literally be carrying baskets of muffins and ringing this loud bell all throughout the streets. And this tradition continued until about the 1930s. And the muffin in question was actually a bread item known as an English muffin, not like the typical sweet muffin that you might be thinking of. Healthy meals were expensive, so many families relied on bulky foods like bread and muffins to fill them up. And other street sellers sold things like fish, hot eels, pea soup, baked potatoes, meat pies, stuff like that. Now, what I found to be so creepy while doing research for this video is that the Muffin Man was also a nickname for this 16th century child murderer. The rhyme was supposedly written to warn kids away from Drury Lane, where a notorious Muffin Man would lure them to their deaths with sweet food. Now, there are many different versions of this very horrifying story. The Muffin Man was also known as the Drury Lane Slicer, who was actually the first known serial killer in England. His real name was apparently Frederick Thomas Lane, Linwood. He was born in 1563 and he died in 1612. And there are many, many accounts of his crimes, but there's no records of them. So this is either a really, really creepy folklore story or one of history's most creepy mysteries. And there's just no surviving records, but there were at one point. The Muffin Man would make his deliveries just like other bakers, but he would lure children away from their homes by playfully tying a string to a muffin and pulling it away from the steps where the parcels lay. The kids, thinking this was some sort of fun game, would chase the muffin being pulled on a string, which would lead them to this muffin man's bakery where he would grab them, pull them inside, and obviously you know what comes next. These kids would not step out of there alive. And apparently this muffin man also did not like having competition around him in the town, so it's said that he would go and murder the other bakers, so he would be the only one 
making muffins. And according to lore, he used wooden spoons to knock children out. However, experts have long cast doubt that a wooden spoon would be enough to render a person unconscious, but still these wooden spoon stories exist. It is said that between the years of 1589 and 1598, he ended up murdering 15 children, which is awful. So the children came up with this catchy, sing-songy rhyme that was apparently this way to warn other children to stay away from Drury Lane, which is so creepy. It also warns children to stay away from his bakery and to be wary of people around them. So if they ever did have to pass this particular bakery, they would have their eye out, making sure they were not talking to strangers and not following any muffins on a string. Now, like I said, no one knows if this story is true. People are leaning it to be more towards folklore. And this story has been told and retold so many times that it seems the true origins are lost. I also found this creepy legend that says that if you stand on your front porch while holding a muffin after dark and you sing the song, you'll be able to see his spirit walking towards your house holding a basket of muffins. But it says, be warned, you must run and close your door before he reaches your porch. So that is also really terrifying. And whenever I see stuff like that, I am tempted to do it on the vlog channel because I am crazy and because it does lean more to folklore. So I'm kind of like, oh, I love folklore. But obviously, if this was true, that is awful, and I am hoping and praying that it's not. Anyway, so guys, I feel like whenever I watch Shrek from now on and I get to that gingerbread scene, I am not gonna look at it the same, like ever. If you guys wanna see more videos of me talking about old nursery rhymes that actually have some pretty dark and scary history, give this video a thumbs up and let me know. Maybe comment some nursery rhymes down below. But don't forget, guys, if you want one of our mystery galaxy necklaces, I have linked it down below along with the link to all the information about the meet and greet this Saturday. I really hope to see you there, but I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!